All right, what is going on, everyone? So today in this video, I'm gonna be discussing is 2018 really the year that the hype beast ends, that whole term, you guys understand what it means, and I'm gonna be discussing if that is the end. But in this video, I'll also be discussing, I guess, the streetwear brands and the sneaker brands that are gonna be doing really well this year, and then some of them I feel will not have their best year in 2018. But I hope you guys will enjoy this video. It's gonna be really entertaining, and I think you guys are gonna sort of enjoy this quick or quickish discussion. I don't know how long this video is gonna end up being, but I hope you guys will enjoy it. Just give you all some thought, and I think you guys really enjoy this video. But if you're new, go ahead, subscribe. Subscribe below and another thing you guys can do if you want to is drop a like in this video. Let's see if we get 200 likes. That'd be a great goal and I'd really appreciate that. But aside from all that, I'm going to try and get straight into this video. I'm not going to make this intro too long, but you guys are going to really enjoy this video. I have a lot of things to discuss. I think it's going to be really cool for you guys to enjoy and see what I have to think. And then you guys can, of course, leave your own opinions down below in the comments. But I'm going to get straight into this video. Well, let's get started. Okay, so I guess the first thing I'll discuss is, I guess, just the hype beast term. And is that going to end in 2018? Now, first things first, I'm just going to get this out of the way immediately. The hype beast term, like the whole hype beast thing, it's never really going to end, but I think it will fade away slowly. But in 2018, that is not going to be the case. And I'm going to give you guys some evidence for that. So first things first, with 2017, the end of 2017 was filled with so much hype beast material. We had so many incredible collabs, you know, Supreme Drops, Box Logos. And December was a crazy month for the sneaker game and the streetwear game from a hype beast perspective of just, you know, a lot of hype stuff that's really expensive and a lot of people are buying it and now it's reselling for a bunch. So in that general, idea the hypebeast streetwear game and sneaker game is growing probably more than I've seen in a bit. 2017 was a really good year for hypebeast. Uh, there was a lot of big collaborations. Supreme Louis Vuitton, uh, Nike Off-White, like all these collaborations that were so big from the sneaker and from you know the streetwear perspective. So I feel like 2017 was an incredible year for the hypebeast and especially from designer you know we had Balenciaga really come up this year. Gucci I mean obviously that did really well this year and you know I feel like a lot of really of those designer brands really made a great name for themselves this year. So when discussing all that right there, 2017 was definitely the year that like hypebeast term just like became like it's no longer a bad thing. I mean it still is like that's originally what it was like meant for. You only buy hype stuff, you're a hypebeast, you're not really part of this whole culture which I feel like the culture is slowly fading away anyway so I mean I don't know if that really means anything anymore. But aside from all that, that was a huge thing for sure and 2017 was definitely the year that the hypebeast term is no like just sort of faded away from being a bad thing more into a good thing like you had so many youtubers buying all this expensive stuff and hype stuff to show off and do all this because that's what was just going on and you know they really helped promote that just buying a bunch of really expensive stuff and making an outfit out of it and then you're considered the biggest hype beast which is now a good thing apparently so aside from all that that's definitely one thing about 2017. Now, what do I think about 2018? So first things first, in 2018, I feel like we're gonna have a lot of good just collaborations and different things from the sneaker perspectives. Considering that 2017 at the end, December, for Jordan and Nike, they had a really good year to finish off. And I feel like Adidas did okay, you know, with the blue tents right there. I feel like Adidas had a decent uh, ending as well. But, you know, Yeezys are sort of fading away. You know, less people are being interested in Yeezys and more people are like, hey, I'm gonna go for the stuff like Nike, Off-White, Jordan, the Win Like 96. Like Jordan had a lot of really good sneakers to end off the year. An Off-White Jordan 1, again, Win Like 96. They had a lot of really, really good sneakers to end off the year. And I feel like they're leading into the new year with that momentum. And uh, even from the Streetverse perspective, like Supreme had a pretty good lookbook year, like really, really good lookbook year. And the collaborations were decent. And especially brands like Palace that are still growing exponentially, like Palace is already big and they're just continue to grow. So respect to them for sure. And then Bape is fading away, but I do have a feeling that in 2018, Bape is going to come back because I've seen a lot more celebrities rocking Bape recently, and I didn't just make that up. No, I've seen a lot more celebrities wearing Bape and Supreme, and I noticed, you know, Bape and Supreme are supposedly, like, rumored to collaborate in SS18 for Supreme Spring Summer 18. So, when discussing that, you know, I feel like Bape's gonna have a good year, and they will probably gain back some of that hype, especially if you see a lot more celebrities and a lot more YouTubers promoting it. All that sort of stuff. If it gets out to the internet more, Bape is going to have a good year and Palace is just going to keep on growing from what I see people are catching on to you know that Triferg hype um because I mean that's apparently everything the triangle you know you know what I mean but aside from all that I feel like Supreme is going to have an okay year I don't feel like Supreme Spring Summer 18 is I feel like it's going to be good I don't feel like from the lookbook perspective but I feel like the collabs are going to be really really nice now the reason I'm saying that is because we've already seen some lookbook pieces and personally I haven't liked them but some of them have been really nice but the deal is is that this the Fall Winter 17 lookbook for Supreme was so 
good. Like, I don't know if they're going to be able to top that for at least a season or two, because that was really impressive. And I know some people may disagree, but there was a lot of hype lookbook stuff this year. Like, you have to think about that. A lot of the, you had lookbook items leading drops for the most hyped items so many times, and there was just so much hype from the lookbook. So that's what I think for sure. So I feel like Supreme is going to have a decent spring, summer 17, uh, spring, summer 18 season. My bad there. I'm still thinking in 2017, but I feel like they're going to have a really good spring, summer 18 season. Um, maybe not from the lookbook perspective, but from the collaboration perspective. I've always loved this, the spring, summer collab, you know, my kill mate. Let's see if they bring that back for another year. I would definitely cop all that if I could, because that is definitely just one of my favorite collabs ever. I just, I sold my, my kill tee and, you know, I sort of want it back, but you know, I'll see if I may, I may end up copying another one. Who knows? But aside from all that, that's what I think for Supreme. I feel like Supreme is going to have an okay year, but I don't know if they're going to have as good of a year as Fall Winter 17 was for their season. And there are a couple brands that I've noticed have grown a lot, and I forgot, almost forgot to discuss these. Off-White. Now, Off-White, you guys may or may not know, but Off-White caught some hype this year, and I gotta say, they did a really, really impressive job this year. Just a lot of really nice pieces, you know, it's Travis Scott, all this different stuff. They caught a lot of hype this year, and that's a good thing for them. Their brand grew so much, and especially with that end of the year collaboration with the Jordan 1, that has really helped them out because now people are like, hey, what the, what did, you know, I didn't cop the Jordan 1s. What are some off-white pieces? They go to the site, sold out, all this stuff, and off-white starting to gain that hype. And, you know, I do actually respect their designs. Now, some brands that aren't doing too well and I don't think are going to, like, do well this year, and I think they're sort of dying. Now, when I say dying, I don't mean, like, they're ending. I just feel like they're probably not going to have as great of a year as they did last year. Now, first things first, Anti-Social Club, also known as Anti-Shipping Club, or Anti-Social Social Club, so Anti-Shipping Club. I mean, it's an abbreviation, but you guys get the idea. But aside from that, I feel like they're not going to have a good year. I feel like they're sort of going to end it because, you know, people are like, I've been waiting four months for my item. And that's not acceptable from a brand. So I feel like anti shipping, shipping club. I feel like they're definitely going to lose their hype this year. And that's going to be it from them. I'm not going to hear any more from them after this year. I feel like the hype will probably be gone unless they collaborate with Bape again. But I don't know if Bape even wants to go with them again, considering that, you know, it's just they don't ship their stuff. But aside from all that, I feel like Anti-Social Social Club is probably going to end this year with their hype. And B-Lone is definitely getting a lot of hype, you know, with ASAP Rocky and ASAP Mob and all that and just everything right now. B-Lone is gaining a lot of hype right now, so B-Lone is going to have a good year, I feel like, as well. But I'm not here to discuss every single streetwear brand I know of and then give an opinion in it. I mean, I sort of am, I'm, but I'm firstly going to give and just give the idea of this video because I said I was going to do this. So, are Hype Beast going to end in 2018? The answer to that is no. The Hype Beast term is going to grow even more in 2018 with all the end of the year stuff we saw with designer brands killing it, Balenciaga, and just so much hype that was gained from all this. 2018 is probably going to be a better year from the Hype Beast perspective than 2017 was. And I know you guys may disagree with me. Now, from some brands, like there's going to be a lot of nicer stuff than there was in 2017. You know, we may see some upcoming brands that we don't even know about. They'll gain some hype. And that'd be pretty awesome to see another brand sort of be introduced to this game because we definitely need more brands, I think. Like, it's just right now Supreme, Bape, and Palace, and Off White's sort of coming in, so I think that's good. So, when discussing all that though, the hype is the hype beasts are just gonna grow even more. I mean, in 2018, I mean, it may this year may be the year that a hype beast term is completely abolished and everyone's just like, oh, you're a hype beast, it's cool, but you know, I don't really know what to think about that. But that's my sort of thoughts on that sort of whole sort of topic. So Hypebeast in 2018, this is not the end of the Hypebeast whatsoever. This is just the start. Like this, like 2017 was just crazy for Hypebeast. Like you had all these people spending so much money in outfits and it just was the hype. Like everyone's like, hey, if you spend more on an outfit, you're more of a Hypebeast. You're better. You're just more part of the culture in a sense, even though the culture didn't originate from this. And you know, it's just so much crazy stuff. So that's sort of what I think right there. Hypebeast, they're not gone. They're definitely still here. So those are my thoughts right there. Um, I think there isn't really anything more I need to discuss other than I think I'll just go over my brand overview again. So just to go over my brands again. This year for brands is going to be pretty good. Now the brands I feel are going to come up really well this year. Jordan's going to do really well. Off White is going to do really well. And I feel like Supreme will have a decent year. And then definitely a brand that's going to have a good year is going to be Palace. I've seen some of that lookbook stuff, and I have to admit I'm very very interested in it. So that's what I think right there. But one brand that I don't feel like is going to do too well in 2018, I would have to say Adidas because honestly, they're they're losing their Yeezy hype and they haven't done too many big streetwear collabs recently unless they do another one with Bape, which I don't know if that's planned. Adidas needs to collaborate from the streetwear perspective to gain that sort of streetwear hype back because, you know, the Yeezys aren't going to last forever and, you know, they've released too many V2s, so no more V2s, maybe introduce a new model that'll have some hype, but there's just too many Yeezys out there, so I feel like that's probably fading off a bit into the 2017 past. We're leaving it in 2017, but aside from all that, that's why I think from Adidas, 
and that's what I think from all these brands right here. So is really the Hypebeast dying? No, Hypebeast are really just gaining even more strength as you guys can tell probably from the end of 2017. So that's pretty much it. My thoughts. Thank you all for watching. Anyways though, thank you all for watching this video. I really do appreciate you guys' support. Let me know what you guys think down below from brands, from the whole Hypebeast discussion I just had. Do you think the Hypebeast are gonna grow even more? What brands do you think are gonna come up and what brands do you think are gonna fall? I'd love to hear you guys' opinion on this whole discussion. So be sure you guys do leave some feedback down below on anything you guys wanna say. I read all the comments as usual, as you guys can probably tell. But if you are new and do wanna see more content like this, go ahead and subscribe below. I'd really appreciate that. As you guys show just incredible support anyways. So if you guys could do that, I'd appreciate it if you are new. New. And another thing you guys could do, just close out the video, drop a like in this video, 200 likes, let's see if we can hit that goal, that'd be an incredible goal, I'd appreciate it. And I just want to say thank you all for watching, let's see if we can hit 10,000 subscribers by the time this video's out, i would probably be out tomorrow, and if we hit 10k overnight, that'd be awesome, I've just been striving for 10k for so long, and I can't believe that I'm actually there, or really close to it, I just want to say thank you, it really does mean a lot to me, but thank you all for watching this video, and peace out.